Today, we are discussing how to enhance external validity in experimental designs in order to keep it real. We will delve into the intricate landscape of ensuring real-world applicability in research endeavors. This presentation aims to uncover the importance of bridging the gap between experimental settings and the complexities of the world beyond the lab. Throughout this presentation, you will gain a comprehensive understanding of key aspects related to external validity in experimental design. First and foremost, you will grasp the fundamental concept of external validity, comprehending its significance in ensuring that research findings extend beyond the confines of the experimental setting. Recognizing the pivotal importance of real-world applicability, you will explore how experimental designs can be enriched when they closely align with and impact the complexities of the broader environment. The session will equip you with a toolkit of strategies dedicated to enhancing external validity, emphasizing practical approaches that fortify the relevance of research in real-world scenarios. Lastly, the exploration will extend to challenges and considerations inherent in maintaining external validity fostering an awareness of potential obstacles and guiding you in navigating the delicate balance between internal and external validity in your research endeavors. External validity in the realm of experimental design stands as a pivotal dimension shaping the impact and relevance of research outcomes. At its core, external validity addresses the extent to which the results gleaned from a specific experiment can be generalized beyond the confines of that particular study beyond the unique conditions and participants involved. This broader generalizability is crucial for the research to have real-world applicability, allowing its findings to extend meaningfully to diverse populations, settings, and even different points in time. A fundamental aspect of external validity is the emphasis on ecological validity. This facet underscores the necessity for experimental settings to closely resemble real-world scenarios. The more faithfully an experiment mirrors the complexities of the environments it seeks to inform, the more robust and applicable its findings become. In essence, external validity prompts researchers to transcend the controlled environments of the laboratory and consider the implications of their work within the dynamic and nuanced landscapes of the broader world. Balancing internal and external validity is a delicate task. While internal validity ensures the accuracy and reliability of results within the specific experimental conditions, external validity broadens the scope, enabling researchers to draw connections between their findings and the complexities of reality. Researchers must navigate these intricacies conscientiously, recognizing that an overemphasis on internal validity might limit the generalizability of results, whereas a disregard for internal validity could compromise the integrity of the findings. Consider an experiment examining consumer behavior in a controlled laboratory setting, where participants are tasked with making purchasing decisions for hypothetical products presented in a simplified environment. While this experimental design might offer precise control over variables, the external validity is likely low. The artificial nature of the laboratory, the absence of real-world stimuli, and the use of hypothetical products create a scenario that diverges significantly from the complexities of actual consumer behavior in the marketplace. In reality, consumers navigate a dynamic landscape influenced by factors such as real product attributes, market competition, advertising strategies, peer opinions, and economic conditions. The gap between the controlled experimental conditions and the multifaceted nature of real-world consumer experiences raises concerns about the generalizability of findings and the applicability of insights to authentic consumer decision-making scenarios outside the confines of the laboratory. The various dimensions of external validity manifest in distinct forms, each contributing to the comprehensive applicability of research findings. Population validity, often synonymous with ecological validity, encapsulates the extent to which study outcomes can be generalized to broader populations, ensuring the relevance of the research beyond the confines of the specific participants involved. This speaks to the broader societal implications and applicability of the experimental results. Temporal validity, another crucial facet, delves into the sustainability of research findings across different time frames. Recognizing that the temporal context can significantly influence the applicability of results, researchers must consider the longevity and time-specific nature of their experimental outcomes. 
This temporal lens ensures that findings remain pertinent and insightful over time, adding a layer of durability to the external validity of the study. Ecological validity, perhaps one of the most emphasized dimensions, highlights the relevance of the experimental setting to real-world situations. It advocates for experimental conditions that mirror the complexities of the broader environment, acknowledging that the richness of real-world scenarios enhances the external validity of the research. This alignment with the intricacies of the world beyond the lab setting fortifies the practical applicability of the findings. Enhancing population validity in experimental design is a strategic imperative for researchers aiming to ensure the broad generalizability of their findings. One key approach involves diversifying participant samples deliberately. Actively seeking participants from various demographic backgrounds and characteristics contributes to a more representative sample, thereby enhancing the study's potential applicability to a broader population. A critical consideration in this process is the thoughtful examination of demographic factors. Researchers must account for variables such as age, gender, socioeconomic status, and cultural background when selecting participants. This nuanced approach captures the multifaceted nature of the target population, enriching the external validity of the study by reflecting the diversity inherent in real-world settings. Moreover, real-world relevance in participant selection is paramount. Ensuring that the chosen participants mirror the characteristics of the broader population aligns the study with the intricacies of the world outside the laboratory. This alignment enhances the external validity of the research, making its findings more pertinent and applicable beyond the specific experimental conditions. Inclusive recruitment strategies play a pivotal role in bolstering population validity. Implementing approaches that actively attract participants from various backgrounds helps mitigate biases that may arise from a more limited sample. By fostering diversity in recruitment, researchers contribute to a more representative and applicable study, thereby strengthening the study's external validity. Lastly, broadening inclusion criteria is a deliberate strategy to encompass a wide range of individuals. By intentionally expanding the criteria for participant eligibility, Researchers foster a more comprehensive understanding of how their findings may apply to different segments of the population. This thoughtful approach enhances the study's population validity, allowing for more robust generalizations that capture the richness and diversity of real-world scenarios. Improving temporal validity in experimental design is also a crucial endeavor to ensure the relevance and timeliness of research findings over time. One effective strategy involves the implementation of longitudinal study designs. By tracking changes and variations over an extended period, these designs provide valuable insights into the temporal stability of effects, offering a comprehensive understanding of how phenomena evolve over time. A thoughtful consideration of timeframes is paramount in enhancing temporal validity. Researchers must select and specify timeframes that are not only aligned with the research question, but also ensure the applicability and timeliness of the study's findings. This strategic choice contributes to the precision and relevance of the research in relation to temporal dynamics. Replicating experiments across different time periods is another impactful approach. This practice allows researchers to assess the consistency and stability of results over time, providing valuable information about the robustness of the identified effects across various temporal contexts. Dynamic data collection methods play a pivotal role in enhancing temporal validity. Utilizing approaches such as daily diaries or real-time assessments enables researchers to capture temporal nuances more precisely. This dynamic collection of data not only enhances the temporal validity of the study but also provides a more granular understanding of how variables unfold over time. Furthermore, integrating an awareness of historical context into the research design is essential. Acknowledging external influences and contextual changes that may impact the study's findings over time contributes to a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of the temporal aspects surrounding the research. This holistic approach ensures that the study's outcomes remain pertinent and insightful, navigating the complexities of temporal dynamics in the broader context.
Finally, enhancing ecological validity in experimental design involves deliberate strategies to align experimental conditions with the intricacies of real-world scenarios, ensuring that study outcomes reflect the complexities of the broader environment. One fundamental approach is the replication of real-world scenarios within the experimental design. By closely mirroring authentic situations, researchers create conditions that simulate the challenges and dynamics participants would encounter in their day-to-day -day lives, thereby fostering a more authentic response reflective of real-world situations. The incorporation of real-world stimuli is another key strategy. Actively including stimuli that participants encounter in their daily lives adds a layer of authenticity to the experimental setting, eliciting responses that are more representative of genuine reactions in real-world contexts. This approach contributes to the ecological validity of the study by ensuring that the experimental conditions resonate with participants' lived experiences. Field experiments represent a significant advancement in enhancing ecological validity. Conducting experiments in natural settings, as opposed to controlled laboratories, provides a more authentic and ecologically valid context for observing behavior and outcomes. This approach acknowledges the inherent complexities of real-world environments and allows researchers to capture behaviors in settings that more closely resemble participants' everyday experiences. The utilization of ecologically valid measures is also crucial. Choosing measurement tools and methods that align with real-world situations ensures that study outcomes are captured in a manner that resonates with the complexities of everyday life. This alignment enhances the ecological validity of the study by using measures that are contextually relevant and meaningful to participants. Moreover, the consideration of social context is integral to enhancing ecological validity. Acknowledging and integrating the social context within which behaviors occur recognizes the impact of social dynamics on the ecological validity of the study. By factoring in the social environment, researchers ensure that their experimental conditions reflect the nuanced interplay of individual behaviors within the broader social landscape, contributing to a more ecologically valid and comprehensive understanding of human behavior. The challenge of trade-offs in experimental design encapsulates the delicate balance between maintaining internal validity, ensuring the accuracy and reliability of results within the study, and achieving external validity, which involves the generalizability of findings to the broader context. One central tension emerges in the stringency of control versus real-world applicability. While stringent control over experimental conditions enhances internal validity, it may simultaneously compromise the real-world applicability of the findings. Another facet of this challenge revolves around the selection of samples. There is a perpetual dilemma between opting for homogeneous samples to enhance experimental control and choosing diverse samples for broader generalizability. This choice has profound implications for both internal and external validity, creating a nuanced decision-making process for researchers. The use of stimuli presents another trade-off. Researchers must navigate the decision between employing standardized stimuli for precise experimental control and incorporating real-world stimuli to enhance ecological validity. This dynamic poses a trade-off between maintaining control over experimental conditions and introducing elements that mirror the complexities of the real world. Ultimately, the challenge of trade-offs reflects the researcher's dilemma in deciding the optimal balance between internal and external validity. It acknowledges that emphasizing one dimension may come at the expense of the other, requiring thoughtful consideration and strategic decision-making to navigate the intricacies of experimental design effectively. Enhancing external validity in experiments requires a set of practical considerations aimed at ensuring the feasibility, relevance, and generalizability of the research. First and foremost is the importance of conducting pilot testing in diverse settings. This preliminary step allows researchers to identify and address potential challenges that may arise in different contexts, ensuring that the experimental design is robust and applicable across varied settings. Collaboration with real-world stakeholders is another key strategy. By engaging with professionals or community leaders from the actual environments where the research is relevant, researchers infuse practical insights into the experimental design. 
This collaborative approach not only enhances the external validity of the study but also ensures that the research resonates with the concerns and dynamics of real-world stakeholders. Implementing long-term monitoring and follow-ups represents a commitment to tracking the sustained effects of interventions or experimental conditions beyond the immediate timeframe of the study. This longitudinal perspective adds depth to the understanding of how findings endure over time, contributing to a more comprehensive assessment of external validity. Transparent reporting of methodological choices and limitations is crucial. Providing clear and honest reporting allows for a nuanced interpretation of the study's external validity. Understanding the choices made in the research process, as well as recognizing its limitations, enables stakeholders to gauge the extent to which findings can be generalized to other contexts. Lastly, the integration of multidisciplinary perspectives in the research team is essential. By bringing together individuals with diverse expertise, researchers enrich the experimental design with insights from various disciplines. This multidisciplinary approach enhances the applicability of the study to a broader range of contexts and stakeholders, ensuring that the research resonates across different domains and remains relevant to a wider audience. In conclusion, enhancing external validity in experimental designs involves carefully balancing methodological choices and practical strategies. Diversifying samples, considering temporal dynamics, and improving ecological validity contribute to research that reflects real-world complexities. Practical steps like pilot testing, stakeholder collaboration, and transparent reporting enhance study relevance. Embracing a continuous journey of refinement, external validity ensures research resonates in both academic and real-world contexts, shaping a nuanced understanding of human behavior.